Ladies and gentlemen, it is that time once again. Uh, you know, we've done the survival server, we have done the anarchy server, but we haven't covered the faction server. Factions has is a game mode that I have been playing for such a long time now. It's actually evolved alongside Minecraft. Um, it is one of these great sort of servers that allow you to claim land, but do all the PvP and raiding that you'd you kind of want to do in a a normal survival server. Um, so, with all that said and done, today I will be covering how to play a faction server. So, the main goal of any faction server used to be basically just go kill your friends. However, things have changed, like I said. And the main goal nowadays is to make fat real life money through PayPal. And the way that is done is that factions now undergo typically a server reset every so often. So it's not like other servers in which it's just a constant battle. The whole point of the game is to basically make money through being the best. Being the best generally is weighed up through having some kind of faction score and that faction score normally consists of having certain blocks within a claimed section of land. Um, they, that can be, you know, depends on the server, but it's generally some kind of spawners and some kind of uh, gold blocks that are, have worth and are protected. Um, at the end of the season, the most, the player, the faction with the most, you know, value in their land, um, generally gets some cash. And I have actually seen this go up to a thousand pounds. So this is some big money here. Uh, and there are servers that, you know, attract a lot of people purely because it's a great way to earn Real life cash. Imagine you and your team earning a thousand pounds. Exactly, that's a lot of Minecraft accounts right there. The first step into any faction server is acquiring some wealth. Wealth is normally generated through either fighting some kind of boss monster or grinding some kind of material. In factions, you don't traditionally mine stuff to get money. And this, you know, server that we were playing at the time the one way to acquire a good amount of money was either using kits, and we'll get onto kits later, or fighting bosses in an area close to spawn. Because they were close to spawn, that means you could be killed in that area, and everyone was going to be know you were there. So we had to go in groups to fight the monsters, and each monster would drop a, a key, and then you use the key on some kind of chest. The chest would then generate wealth of some sort, so whether it was things to put in the faction base, or just money in-game cash which we would then be able to spend on acquiring kits or buying gear. Right, so you've got some gear and acquired some armor. The next step is to build a defendable base. In factions, there are two main concepts. You need to claim land. Land is generally been able to claim depending on the power value of your faction. It's really easy. The more people in your faction, the more power you have. The more power you have, the more land you can claim. If you lose players or people die, then you generally lose power, so it allows other factions to claim over your land. However, that doesn't necessarily stop people getting in. As you can see with this base, it is fortified. Uh, one way in factions that you can enter a claimed area is by blasting it with a TNT cannon and you'll see some of the footage of that later on. Uh, this base you see is something we were checking out to attack and what they've done is they've used water and obsidian to defend against the base. Most factions allow obsidian to be destroyed by uh, TNT uh, so whilst it is very strong it can be destroyed. Uh, water also prevents explosion damage so it is a great way to protect your base. However, you know, people have thought about this. In factions, there are various cannons, such as the sand cannon, that actually allows TNT to be fired into water. Note, it is pretty difficult to make and will slow down an attacker. This very smart base has got a very big defended area, which means an invading attacker, because you can't shoot diagonally. You know, TNT cannons only go one direction. He built walls on either side with as many layers as possible to extend the amount of time it takes an attacker to breach the inner area of the base where presumably he keeps all his stuff. And lastly, to be number one, you will have to attack other bases. In the footage before you, me and Dagzy and the rest of the t crew were attacking a base we found with a sand cannon. This allowed us to get past, again, the water defences and slowly make our way into the core of the base when we were attacked by the faction trying to defend their base. 
This is what happens. If you're offline, you know, you've got, you need people on to alert your team. If you find out your base is being attacked, most of the time you're going to have the upper ground because you're going to be the defending team. You've got to push them away, get your resources out of the base, and this is what this team att attempted to do. They attacked Dags, however, they didn't actually realise that the rest of the T-Con squad was there. During the fight, me and Dags were able to, you know, turn it around. We killed a massive group of them repeatedly, but... Whilst they did lose their armor and gear, they were able to move all of their stuff outside the base, giving them, obviously, you know, their friends were dying, we were butchering them, it was a bit of a fight. Um, we killed a lot of them. In fact, there ended up being two teams we killed. But uh, they moved all the stuff out the base. They even at one point tried to distract us by luring us away from the base, while one of their guys was frantically trying to empty all of their valuables and faction power out of it. It doesn't matter if you lose the base. The base is only there really to store your team's stuff and eventually, you know, hoard the power resources that are going to allow you to win. You can lose the base majority of the time, but if you lose those power things, that is what is acquiring worth. And if one team is able to steal that, it's a benefit for them. As some final tips for playing factions, I recommend... Going in with the mindset of that you're not actually probably going to win. You're there for the fun at the end of the day. And probably a lot of the PvP. Faction servers are PvP orientated servers. They're there for the fights. They're there for the stealing and raiding. Uh, don't be building a pretty base. It's nice to have a bit of a pretty base. But it's got to be incredibly defended. Also, um, for your first, you know, join. Like I said, these games start in seasons. If you've only got four or five of you... You're going to need a lot more than that. You know, a thousand pound reward is going to attract big groups like Tcon, in fact. Uh, what I would do, if, you know, joining your first faction server is, you know, just play through and join actually another team. Uh, that's going to, like, learn you the ropes and actually allow you to acquire ranks and kits. Most, server mo like, most servers allow you to move those ranks and kits to the next phase of the season. That means going into the second season, not only are you going, to, you going to be there from the start, that's great, that's exactly what you need to be, but you're going to have a, you know, the advantage of having a bit more gear and a quicker speed time, plus knowing the people on the server, um, you know, making those alliances, that is probably going to increase your win chance. That's like definitely how I would start. I know it's a bit annoying, you kind of want to go in and win, but they're, like I said, when we were playing, there were teams at least 15 people. They've got ults as well, which allows them to increase the power. Play in a team, know some people, it's a lot more fun that way. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That's my kind of hot tips on factions. Like I said, factions is one of my favorite game modes. Uh, and definitely something I love to play, you know, when, when, when the PvP side of me urges out. But, ladies and gentlemen, that will be all for today. If you did like this video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and leave a comment telling me what to do next time. I don't know, maybe there's a, a server type you want me to do a recording on. Uh, I'm down for whatever at this point. Thank you guys so much for your support um, going in for all of 2018 and shout out to all the guys involved in our faction runs. Uh, catch you on the flip side. Bye!